Hey, good morning. Happy March the 12th. I'm happy to see you guys. Don't know why I'm getting such a weird camera. Huh. Hope you guys can see me okay. Let me know if you can't. Um, I'm going to look on Facebook right now because it does. It looks a little bit weird. It's like I only have half a screen going on here. So let me double check. Yeah, that's weird, huh? All right, well, so, oh, I know what it is. Uh, 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 hair tie, look, see, this is how you carry hair ties on an airplane. Hey, Michelle, hey, Kendra, thanks for watching. So today, uh, it's all about trying to make sure that we are prepared because March, uh, the focus is what's luck got to do with it, absolutely nothing, right? So as an entrepreneur, we have to always be thinking one step ahead. We're not just delivering amazing services. We are making sure that our self-care, hey, Julia, I saw your name, thought about self-care, self-care with Julia. Our self-care is so important. And it's also one of the things that, that makes sure that we can be sustainable. Remember the, the action call for this group, Texas Counselors Creating Badass Businesses, is you and your business are too important to lose to things like messing up, going broke, or in the case of this week, getting sick. I posted my uh, blog today uh, and it was really strange. I was taking a family vacation in Las Vegas and what a place to take a vacation during a pandemic, right? Because you're surrounded by people and uh, you know, you're listening to the news come in and you're sort of, you're on edge and you're, and you're thinking, okay, what's going on here? Hey, Carolyn, thanks for joining. And so my mind goes to not only my family, but also making sure that my business is sustainable. So one of the first things I did on vacation was uh, open up my phone and change the greeting on my office answering message, right? Uh, and it says, you know, if you're concerned about the coronavirus, I'm able to conduct sessions via webcam. The platform that I use is DoxyMe. And I actually heard about that in this group and several other counseling groups. It's a a free platform, it's HIPAA compliant, and it's a great way to make sure that uh, you're offering good telehealth services on a HIPAA compliant uh, platform. I think there are paid plans that make it a little bit more fancy. Um, but for those of you just starting out and you're getting your feet wet, wet in telehealth, um, that's a great way to go. So let me just kind of recap kind of what we're doing today. Um, again, March is all about what what does luck have to do with it? Absolutely nothing. So we're talking about being intentional, defining success, being abundant, abundant minded, right? We're going to share the love. We're going to give honest reviews. But this, this month, I, you know, my plan was to spotlight one or two websites uh, so that you guys could really see what works, right? Because it's one thing to hear me talk on and on and on and on about things that seem so theoretical, right? But to really see what's happening on websites that, that it's great, like it's immediately something you can do, you can change today. Remember, every day I always talk about doing one thing that makes you money. And one of those things you can do is to change something on your website to make sure that, that you're getting a client, a potential client to become an actual client, right? Hey, Linda. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Angela. Thanks for watching. Oh, Asala, thank, uh, thank you. Asaya, thank you for joining as well. Um, so we, uh, in case you were watching last month, I did a Facebook sort of, hey, everybody come like my page because February, February was all about sharing the love. We didn't quite make it to 1,001 likes on the Kate Walker training page, but that's okay because I'm still offering 20% off the Badass Business Builder membership. Badass B Business Builder membership. 20% off when you enter Lucky March at checkout. And that membership gets you add lots of discounts on lots of stuff, including the 40 hour supervisor training. So if some of you guys are kind of on the fence, you're not sure if you want to take the training, you can watch, uh, you can take the training completely online at katewalkertraining.com. And if you're a badass business builder member, you actually get some money off of that. So uh, that was entering Lucky March at checkout. Um, I want to talk about, we talked last week about things that work. Yes, I am reading my notes. And that was my morning creativity. We talked about Trello, whiteboards, notepads. We talked about morning routines. 
And so today I'm going to highlight a couple of um, websites and you guys told me about uh, websites you wanted me to highlight. I'd like to do this every week. So make sure you put in the comments below if you'd like me to look at your website. I will be kind. Remember, this isn't gotcha week. This isn't a gotcha community. If I see something that I would do differently, I'll let you know. But if it's something really super glaring, I'm going to private message you. It's the same philosophy that we use when we're giving each other reviews. Remember, a review isn't a tool to eviscerate someone. A review is a tool to build up a business, bring in our friends and family to show that we really trust this person and we want to make sure that they succeed and grow in the community because hashtag counselors don't quit. So here we go. I'm the first website I'm going to look at today. Hey, Jessica, thanks for joining is Asaya Clark and I'm looking at her website, A Space to Heal. And so if you guys want to follow along with me, I don't know how that works with Facebook Live. You can go check it out later. So the first thing I notice about A Space to Heal, besides the fact that it is beautiful and the colors are uh, so soothing, is there's not a lot of words. There's not a lot of verbiage. And I'm literally just opening this up. Like I opened it before the Facebook Live because I wanted to make sure what I was going to say. But I'm looking at this. The font is beautiful. The the words are big. They're easy to read. So remember when I started my business, I focused on making sure that I could connect to clients quickly. Why? Because if you've read my book, My Next Steps, Create a Counseling Career You'll Love, you know my story started out. I'm a mom. I've got a kid who's going off the rails. I'm Googling counselors in the middle of the night. I just wanted to make sure I could connect with someone quickly. I didn't care about your bio. I didn't care about your certifications. I didn't even know what a license was back in the day, right? So if I could look at your website and connect to you quickly, you got my business. I didn't even care if you took insurance, right? So that's as I became a business owner and I got into this business a little bit more and understood marketing and connecting with clients and potential clients uh, and meeting with other people who aren't in the counseling business, right? I learned more from a lawyer and a hair salon owner than I learned from my fellow counselors, no offense, but sometimes we don't know what we're doing. So connecting with our potential clients, giving them a way to connect with us quickly is the most important thing for me. Hey Cheryl, thanks for watching. So A Space to Heal, I'm looking at the first thing I see besides her beautiful font, her soothing colors, very, very few words, is her phone number, right? Good job, Asaya. I see your phone number. That means I can contact you. Thank you so much. Um, I see a big blue button. Actually, it's a small button, but it's eye-catching because it's blue on purple, and it says free consult. I want to click that button so badly. So there's a contact, but right above it is a free consult. And uh, so I'm a mom, I'm panicking, I'm not even really reading anything. I'm just gonna click the button and see what happens. I'm gonna click free consult, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I actually get a menu. What is this? I can select a 25 minute appointment, a 50 minute appointment. I can select a 10 minute initial consultation that says no charge and a couple's appointment. Four, I see four things. I'm not inundated with tons of information, tiny, tiny font. Remember, I'm old, I gotta wear glasses. So I'm looking at this. It is an amazingly easy way to get this. I wanna do this as a new client. So I'm gonna click initial consultation, select. Oh my gosh, I actually get a video office appointment. That is super cool. I'm gonna select that. I see her calendar, I see her openings. This is awesome, Asaya, great job. I love so much about this. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to her homepage and I'm gonna scroll down and I see a welcome video, it looks like, that I can click. Those of you doing videos, how cutting edge of you, that is amazing. So I'm, I, if I'm slowing down and I'm like, okay, I wanna meet this person, I wanna to get to know them, I know I can contact them, so now I'm gonna scroll for a little more information. Hey Jamie, thanks for joining. A video is a great way to get me information. She gives me a few more words. What is that? Three sentences, love it. And then another click to see my services. Adding a button so I can contact you and get your services throughout the page is a great way to do this. Because if I'm staying on your page more than three seconds, I'm interested. So if I'm scrolling, you wanna give me lots and lots of different places 
that I can click and get you, all right? Hey, Regina. Asaya says, in case y'all want to see, oh, thank you, good. I'm glad you put that website up there. All right, the other one, thank you, Asaya, for letting me go through your website. Great job. Uh, the next website I want to look at is one of my favorites because she went to my, cl my clinic this summer, my workshop this summer. Uh, so I'm going to look at, look at Ajana Therapy. That is, um, and, and I've, I've looked at this one before. It's awesome. I actually, when I, when I click this open, I have a choice. I have to either choose the button that says I'm a new client or the button that says I'm an existing client. So right off the bat, I am, I know who I am, right? Because if I've never seen her before, then I'm going to click a new client. And when I do that, oh, and by the way, there's a big map here too. So I know if she's in my area, right? Um, hey, Christina, thanks for joining in. Michelle, thanks. Well, I, Awesome. Thank you for, <laughs> I love the comments. Uh, so I'm going to click cause I'm a new client. I'm a new client. Click again, an amazing menu. What is this? You guys are so awesome. So if I want to book with Jessica, the owner, I can click that. So it's by names. So with the hers was by service, Jessica at Ashana therapy and clinical services. Hers is by her provider name. So I can go through here. So if I know these folks or if they've been referred to me by name, um, I, can, I can click that. Oh, and there's also a category for LPC interns. So if I'm a client, potential client, and I'm thinking I want an LPC intern because I've heard sometimes they offer services on a sliding fee scale, I can click that. Great idea. Love it. So I'm going to click LPC intern and I want to see what happens. Wonderful. Return client psychotherapy sessions with a fully licensed clinician, new client, fully LPC intern. So you go through your services here. Love it, love it, love it. And again, there's a, your phone number in, in plain sight. I don't have to click. I don't have to scroll. I don't have to read about your bio and your stuff. So I'm assuming if I want to find out more, I'm assuming, never assume anything. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click Jessica and see what happens. So again, after Jessica, I get her services. So every person on here gets to uh, have their heading and y'all have to post what you're using here because it doesn't say what your scheduling system is. Those of you who are supervisors, let me just make a, a quick note of this because I see this all the time in the 40 hour training. When I deliver the training and I'm asking you to write your contract, a great scheduling system is a super way to make sure that you and your interns are connecting and not missing appointments and getting less than four hours a month. So that was just a side note. If you're a supervisor in this group, you need to be in Texas supervisor training. That's our closed Facebook group for supervisors only. And I think I'm going to talk about this over there. So great website. Awesome. Jessica, love this. I'm going to go back. Let's see if I click at the top, if I get to the homepage, Score, yes, I do, wonderful. That's the other thing. Give me an easy way to get back to the homepage because if I'm really going down the rabbit hole on your website and I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's not the person I want, that's not the service I want, give me a quick way to get back to your homepage, okay? I love it, love it. So if you want me to go through your website this month, month uh, March is all about what's luck got to do with it, absolutely nothing. We are talking about what works. Put your website below. I can't look at everybody's, but I really, really want to look at stuff. And especially if there's stuff that you're worried that, that it's not how you want it to be. Go to these websites that I looked at today. Great examples, great stuff going on with them. All right, I'm going to shift gears a little bit. And I promised earlier I would talk about the COVID virus and how that's affecting our private practices. And, and lots of entrepreneurs, everybody, from us to apparently NBA team owners is getting sacked right in the head by this virus. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, I was in Las Vegas this week with my family and uh, it, it's just one of those things that sort of, it, it was slow coming. I live on the coast, I live in the Houston area and so we have hurricanes and hurricanes are always interesting to me because you can see them coming for a week it, it beforehand, right? So on Monday, you're like, okay, where's the hurricane? Where's it going to hit? Should I go get some water? Should I go? So it seems like we have seen this thing coming now for several months and now all of a sudden it's here. So it feels for, for me, for, for the, the coast dweller, it feels almost like a hurricane. Hey, Carrie, thanks for watching. 
So I've done some Googling this week. I posted a blog post. If you go to katewalkertraining.com or if you like my page, Kate Walker uh, Training on, um, Kate Walker Training on uh, Facebook, I have posted my blog there. I posted my blog on LinkedIn. And I like to say that I'm sort of the Reader's Digest for counselors. I take what I find and I put it in a really short digestible thing that you guys can watch and read quickly. Um, and so uh, what I learned this week, and I'm just going to read some of the high points. Um, so uh, the, the article that I wrote is called Texas Counselors in COVID-19, Preparing Your Private Practice. So uh, one, uh, having a sick leave plan. Now that doesn't make your practice bulletproof, but again, leaving it up to luck is not okay, right? We've learned that we're too important to lose to things like going broke. And what a sickness can do is it can interrupt your stream of income. You can go broke. And again, it's not just us. It's the owners of the airlines. It's the owners and the operators of the booths at Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's the owners, uh, you know, small business to big business is we're all feeling the pinch right now. So what I'm telling you, you know, I'm not a lawyer. I don't play one on TV, but I'm going to give you some pointers that if you will call your trusted attorney, then you can start to make a really good plan. So for a sick leave plan, it may too be too late for this particular suggestion, but having at least two weeks of income in a bank account at all times. Now this is way under the Dave Ramsey recommended three months. So if you've taken Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, my kids say Dave Ramsey is my favorite child because I have taken his course two times. Love it, love it, love it. Don't get paid by him, but send everybody to him just because it's so amazing. So Dave Ramsey recommends three months of income in a safety net emergency fund. So what I'm telling you is most of us can't do that today or this month, but you may be able to have that two weeks of income in a, in a bank account just in case you lose that many clients, client hours this week or during this time, right? Because in, if you're in the process of switching to video or you've got clients that are like, oh no, I don't want to do video. Well, you, you're going to lose some income. So if, even if it's too late, put it on the list of things to do get two weeks into a bank account. And then if you're really focused, do what Dave Ramsey says, get three months in there. Number two, include a, if I get sick or have an emergency clause in your intake paperwork. Most of us will charge our clients full price if they give us less than 24 hour notice and they skip or miss or late or cancel or no show an appointment. What do you do for your clients? So uh, if you don't show up, are you gonna comp their next session, right? Do you have that in the intake paperwork? What do you have in place so that clients understand that you have emergencies too? And if you don't have that in place, that is something that you can change today. Um, for those of you watching with amazing scheduling software, I use Full Slate. I'm able to go in and modify the templates that go out to my clients, those emails that go to my clients a couple of days before the appointment, the appointment reminders. So I have gone in and told them, if you're concerned about the COVID virus, here is what we can do so that everybody can be fully informed and fully prepared, right? Because I can't give my clients a new paperwork to sign if I don't see them or I can't make them sign new paperwork, even if I have online paperwork, right? So communication is key here. We're letting our clients know what may happen and what we can do for them if this affects us and we get sick, okay? Number three, this situation is bringing up legal issues. This showed up in my closed group, um, the Texas Supervisor Training closed Facebook group, and I didn't have an answer. So because this is a pandemic and we have the Center for Disease Control, the CDC involved, I don't know what our obligation is if someone reveals to us in a session that they are, uh, if they've tested and they have the coronavirus. So uh, that's something that you, if you're a member of TCA, Texas Counseling Association, or TAMFT, -A or ACA, or uh, your professional organization, you should have legal care, free legal care. And if you don't, change organizations because you need legal care. 
So be it, so for if you guys are out there and somebody has legal care and they want to post it on the website, I'm happy to put that out there and spread the word in my newsletter tomorrow on the website. I'll, I'll get the word out. It, you know, I don't know what our legal obligation is if our client has to self-reveal or if they happen to self-reveal that they are contagious and they have been tested and they've shown up positive. Um, so I'm just going to leave that hanging there because I don't have an answer for that. Number four, most importantly, y'all take care of you. I, I admit it. I, you know, my husband's watching this so he can give me a thumbs up. I am a self-proclaimed recovering workaholic. I mean, I love my job. I hate falling behind. I, I'm a big pleaser. I hate disappointing people. I'm a recovering codependent. I got it all, folks. I like to work. And so for me to tell a client, no, I'm not coming in because I'm sick, that's like, ugh, it's super hard for me. But number four, I've got to take my own advice. If I get sick, right, you got to take care of you. I got to take care of me. Drink fluids, feed a fever, starve a cold, whatever it is that you're supposed to do. Call a doctor, go get tested. Make sure ahead of time that have, I don't know about y'all, but I've already scoped out the hospital I'm going to go to. Hey, Rachel, thanks for watching. And, and so that I know that, you know, okay, does this place have a test? Does this place not have a test? If you know me also, my, you know, my mother-in-law lives in my backyard, right? She's 60, no, 75 years old. And so we as a family are kind of self-quarantining from her, right? We're not going to touch her and hug her and all that stuff. So last but not least, y'all, this is not the zombie apocalypse. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. It feels like it a little bit. But as business owners, we have an obligation. Remember, you are important and you're important to your community. That's your fault. You are too good. You decided to go into this business and insert yourself into a community so that they rely on you and good on you. That means you're brave. That means you're smart. That means you have an amazing heart for people and your business is too important to lose to things like going broke because you got sick and you didn't plan. Now, if it's too late to get that two weeks in the bank, you know, I'll keep an eye out. If I see things that are coming down the pike, uh, I know they talked about something like lowering interest rates on small business loans and, and ways to help out small business. I'll pass those along and let's do that also in this group. Let's really help each other out. Because uh, remember, March is all about what's luck. What's luck? got to do with it? Absolutely nothing. So if you're interested, it's kind of, I'm going to circle back around. If you're interested in becoming a badass business builder and becoming a member and getting lots of, I don't know what it is. It's either 10 or 20% off our most popular courses, including the Texas uh, 40 hour training to become an LPC or an LMFT supervisor. Just enter lucky March when you're checking out and you can get that badass business builder membership for 20% off in March. Because why? Well, let's see if I can do this. Hashtag counselors don't quit, right? We're breaking down barriers. We're backwards planning your badass business goals. We are supporting one, one another. We're making sure that because not if one of us goes out of business, it's bad for everybody. It's bad for our com community. It's bad for the world. We have a goal. We've got to make this work. So post below if you have questions. Post below if you'd like me to check out your website. Post below if you have more suggestions about helping small business owners during a pandemic. Read my blog on katewalkertraining.com. Make sure you go to, uh, I've got a LinkedIn page where I posted the article as well. If as new information comes out, put them in our group. That's what we're for. If you're a supervisor, get your butt over to Texas Supervisor Training Closed Facebook group. Give me your license number and I will get you in and we'll give you more information so that you can help, you, can help your interns out as well. Because if you're a supervisor, you're doubly important. You're like super, super important. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy this beautiful spring day, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.